who am I? Oh dear. <laughs> My name is Marissa Justina. I am a research scientist and quantum electronics engineer in Google Quantum AI. I'm a hardware person. I like to touch physical objects in the lab, and I actually lead the device packaging team. So that's the piece of hardware that connects between the chip, the, the quantum processor itself, and the cryostat with all of the cables that drive the electrical signals to and from that chip. When I was three, my father had a big, you know, old style computer. It lived in my bedroom and I wasn't really supposed to play with it because I might break it. Fast forward a little while, eventually when I got to college, I had my own laptop and I thought, aha, okay, now I can, I can get into it and see like what's really going on here. I took a computer science class and I didn't really get the answer I was looking for. And so I took some programming classes, how does the computer work, some electronics classes. I thought, you know, we'll get one level deeper. I took semiconductor theory, which gave way to foundational physics classes. And eventually at the bottom, it's all quantum mechanics. So I took one class in quantum mechanics and was really confused. You know, I'll take one more class and, and then, I'll, then I'll really understand it. And by the end of engineering school, decided to do graduate work in quantum mechanics specifically because because I thought, well, this is really my last opportunity to try to get this. And so I went and did a PhD in the University of Vienna in experimental quantum physics. And it turned out to be a really interesting marriage of everything I learned in engineering school of how to build big systems that work with testing some very philosophical and foundational quantum questions. Then I found I really wanted to get back into something a little bit more grounded, if you will, and building a quantum computer is very much an application of the quantum mechanics that I was so curious about for so long. I think there's a common misconception that we use quantum mechanics all day, every day, and in fact, a lot of my work doesn't use quantum mechanics at all. It's related to basic electricity and mechanics. There are even many people on our team who don't have quantum backgrounds at all, and have certainly picked up a lot uh, about quantum on the job, but really what they most contribute to our team is their expertise in all of these other fields, you know, from project management, mechanical engineering, software engineering, to electrical engineering, and that melding of all of these different backgrounds and different sources of expertise that's what is enabling our team to succeed. So a memorable lesson learned. Well, you may be familiar with the 2019 Beyond Classical experiment uh, that was done on a Sycamore processor with 54 qubits, but we actually only use 53 of them. There's a little diagram showing the 54 qubits and this one sad qubit that's not being used. And in fact, as I mentioned before, I'm responsible for the packaging. So at the time, we knew it had a line failure and we had one that was perfect. And for whatever reason, it was decided that the very first chip would be in the broken package rather than the the intact package. And I think the expectation at the time was, oh, you know, this is the very first chip and something's going to break. It's probably not going to work, but uh, we cooled it down. And then a whole army of calibration engineers descended on it and improved the performance and improved it and improved it. And a few months later, we had our data for our publication, um, never having gone back to repair the broken line. And so it was an eye-opening experience to see how many people and how many future hours of work are impacted by one decision made at one time. I find it particularly fulfilling when I get to see my work enable other people's work. So as I've started to have my own team and become responsible for a few other people's work, and I just provide a little bit of enabling and support for that. And then they do something better than I would be able to ever do it and really take off. So you can learn more by going to our website, quantumai.google. And if you look at the Teams page, you can navigate to the career section and you'll find there a list of the current job openings on our team. Now that is constantly changing. What you see today might be very different from what is there tomorrow or in a month. And it's maybe interesting to monitor that also to get a feel for what kinds of different jobs exist within the broader quantum ecosystem in general. There's a lot of different things. So if you go to the quantum.google, what's our website? <laughs> <Quantum. laughs> <laughs> 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 ah, 
AI, Google quantum AI, quantum, Google AI, quantum, quantum AI, Google. Quantum AI, quantum, 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 quantum,